Imagine an online store where a product cost $100. A tech-savvy buyer with the help of simple tool change the price to $10 and proceed to the payment. Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will see how they do it and safeguards against it. Let's get started. As per the challenge page of Website Security Academy, this lab does not adequately validate user input. To solve by lightweight leather jacket, given credentials are Wiener and Peter, pretty simple and easy. Click on assess the lab, switch foxy proxy to burp suit, mm. burp suit, turn the intercept off, challenge page, my account and login with given credentials that are Wiener and password is Peter. Tap on home page and view details of leather jacket. Mm, scroll, now open burp suit, turn the intercept on, click on add to cart. Burp suit, here we have product ID and the price of jacket. Right click and send it to repeater. Turn the intercept off, repeater tab. Get back to the challenge page, my cart. The price of leather jacket is 1337 USD. Now if we place order, it reflects not enough store credit for this purchase. Open burp suit and change the price of jacket to let's say 1200. Back to challenge page, remove order, burp suit, tap on send, response 302 found, perfect back to challenge page refresh and the price of leather jacket reduced to $12 tap on place order and it's done congratulations you solved the lab to safeguard against excessive trust in client side control vulnerability number one content security policy or csp enforce strict csp number two use secure tokens number three server side validation and number four regular security audits thanks for watching